What is up, Trainters? Ludo here, back with another fabulous Pokemon Go video, and today things might get a little messy. So there has been quite a bit, a lot of things going on in the Pokemon Go world, in the social media sense, and in the game sense. If you keep up on the social media, you've noticed some changes going on. There's been so many in-game announcements, so many uh, discoveries being found with the game coding and whatnot. So a lot of things are coming, a lot of things are happening, and it's kind of hard to keep up. But uh, I'm just going to kind of talk about my favorite ones so far and uh, cover the, what I feel is the most important ones that we've got going on so far. First and foremost, let us talk about the newest in-game announcement. Today when you uh, woke up or when you uh, signed into your game, you got this notification that said, snap off the lens cap on your inner photographer. We've been inspired by the photos you've taken with your AR feature. From the smallest Wurmple to the tallest Alolan Executor, trainers have taken amazing photos that show off Pokemon in their natural habitats. Today, we're happy to announce that a brand new feature will soon arrive. One that's sure to make capturing the charm of your favorite Pokemon easier than ever. Introducing Ghost Snapshot. An easy way to take a photo of any Pokemon you have in your Pokemon storage. Learn more below. So what this is basically uh, says here, it features take an AR photo of any Pokemon you have in your Pokemon storage. Yeah, exactly. You just like, your mind just blew because of all the possibilities. Exactly. Find your ideal photo location and tap to throw a Pokeball to the spot where you want your Pokemon to be. Once your Pokemon is in position, move around to get the best angle. Brush across, that's what I'm assuming, you know, kind of brush across the screen, the Pokemon to attract its attention for the perfect shot. And what I'm assuming by that is you can kind of activate its taunt or its attack. Take as many photos as you like, you can save them and share them on social media. We can't wait to see what amazing photos you'll take of your Pokemon, and don't forget to send us your work with the hashtag GoSnapshot. Definitely making sure that hashtag is locked in my keyboard. And that's really about it. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Can you, okay, okay, so first off, my brain just goes, shiny Charizard. Like, oh my god. We are gonna be able to take our shiny Charizard out and take photos of it. I can't wait to see what some of these great Pokemon AR photographers do and create. I myself do do this and I do have a uh, Twitter for it so if you don't know uh, be sure to follow it. Uh, I will be posting all the brand new AR photos we get. Uh, I still have a lot to edit and post of uh, previous ones as well so if you fancy follow that because that's where I'm going to be posting those but oh my god I cannot seriously wait for this. This is what I've been waiting for uh, ever since we heard about what was it was like Go Park or whatever uh, and there was like uh, images of long ago of like Charizard out and about and whatnot and so we were just amazed at like so I wonder if that was uh, the same idea but it was a leak for Let's Go and then it was also an idea and leak for Pokemon Go. I don't know but we, we had a small hint of it before and now it's finally here. I am so happy I can't wait till this comes. Whenever it comes they said soon uh, sometimes their soon has literally meant uh, they'll, they'll post this and then it's like 1pm it's there. That's not the case for this one because then also sometimes they've posted it and then you don't get it for like two weeks. We have seen that stuff before, so I don't know uh, what their soon means. I am hoping it is sooner than later, but that is, uh, in my opinion, uh, probably one of the best news besides PvP that we have had in a long time. But moving on, the other news that we got was that Mama Swine is going to be getting ancient power on Community Day. Yes, no, this is not a uh, meta-changing move for Mama Swine to get, but at the same time, that's not the purpose of Community Days. You have to understand, if we continued to do that, 
uh, Pokemon you invested in uh, six months ago would become obsolete if they continued to just do this system where every new Community Day Pokemon got a meta-changing move and became the next powerhouse. Like, we can't have that. With this happening, it does bring in more variety for us to be able to use and battle with uh, in whatever case it may be. So look at it that way. Anytime that we get a Pokemon that doesn't necessarily get a meta-changing move, it only is going to help the meta game in itself to broaden itself with the use of what we have instead of keeping it to these like top tiered Pokemon that are constantly being used. And then further confirmation gives us three times the catch Stardust. I'm super excited about that. So make sure you get some star pieces. If you can, I guarantee you the Community Day boxes will contain star pieces, so don't worry. Then you have throughout Community Day weekend you can earn five rewards per day from trainer battles. So it's two days. You can earn five from trainer battles and five from the, the team leader battles. That's 10. You have two days. That is 20 stone, guaranteed. Or at least if I'm reading this correctly, that's what it's gonna end up being because you got five a day per trainer battles. So that's five and five. Then you get 10 on, uh, on the community day. Five from trader battles and five from the, the leader battles. That's 20. So uh, unless I'm completely wrong and just reading into this wrong, uh, you should be getting 20 stones throughout this weekend. Get excited. For effing real, a lot of people have been waiting a long time. They don't have any stones. Uh, and, and then there are people that have mass amounts of them. So this is going to be nice that there's finally a way to guarantee you getting some stones. So get happy, get excited. They're finally doing some things correctly. And for those of you who don't remember, Community Day is this weekend uh, on Saturday, uh, I believe Sunday for uh, Australia and Asia Pacific. But it is this weekend. So get ready, get excited. I myself have a 100% swine up. Very excited because, uh, uh, you know, at first when I got it, I was like, woohoo, a 100% swine up. Like, not very exciting. But I'm super excited about that because now I actually at least have one guaranteed uh, positive 100% swine up into mammoth swine, into pillow swine, into mammoth swine, evolution, guaranteed. I'm super happy. My only hope is that I still get at least three shinies, of course. I'm a little worried that Niantic may have taken note from these previous events and realized that they are abusing the shiny rates and the rarity of it and have lessened shiny rates. I'm a little worried, so uh, I'm uh, really hopeful that this weekend will go as normal. I know a lot of people disagree with how, and I do agree that Niantic has kind of ruined the shiny rarity uh, uh, with how it does its community days. But this is, again, not a main series game. So, moving on from our green little watermelon pig to these green splatters that you may have seen all over Pokemon Go's social media. On their Facebook and on their Twitter, they change their images to uh, with these green splatters randomly. A lot of people have kind of given into it and had some fun with it. A lot of speculation is going around. I made my photos as well with green splatter, so it was kind of fun. But a lot of people are speculating and still don't really know what's going on. Uh, a lot of people, of course, are speculating Smeargle. Then there was also a lot of people saying, oh my god, it's Splatoon! So, it's it's very confusing. It's very confusing, but Niantic has done this before where they just kind of post something out of the blue and leave us hanging. So, it's kind of exciting. This is my theory. The last Splatoon game was Splatoon 2, and that was released in July of 2017. We have had a lot of speculation videos out on the internet, uh, a lot of announcement trailers that are fake, and a lot of what I would like to seize in Splatoon 3. My assumption is that 
there's going to be some kind of, we have a Nintendo Direct coming up, there's going to be some kind of uh, Splatoon announcement of some sort. And along with that, because Niantic has kind of uh, run dry and beaten a dead horse with the situation of Smeargle, they don't really want to just like throw him into the game and hope that people are excited about it. So they want to try and hype it up in, in any way that they can. And I think that they found a way to do it with the possibility this is my assumption as i said my theory my 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 theory on what 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 it's all about but as i said that splatoon will announce some kind of something and with cross promoting of that niantic is going to use that to be able to release smeargle along with it shiny smeargle because the two main colors in Splatoon are green and pink. And what we have here is a greenish and a pinkish. So, come on. I know it's kind of reaching here, but uh, it, what's your idea? Literally, what's your idea and assumption? Let me know down in the comments. I want to know what people think. Uh, if they just think flat out it's Smeargle, of course. Or if they think that there's going to be more to it. Let me know. I think that there's a lot more to it. Because I think that they can't, like I said, I think they can't just release Smeargle. Because they've kind of drawn it out so far. Releasing it just at random would be so underwhelming. So I don't think they want that to happen. So I think they're finding a way and it might be through a Splatoon announcement of sorts. So, a lot of things going on. Uh, I'm gonna stop it there with the conspiracy corner and whatnot, but uh, some fun things are going on and coming to the game, so get excited. I'm pretty excited for what I have seen in Pokemon Master Holly and Zoe's videos about going to Niantic and talking with them and them basically saying that we need to stop worrying. Niantic has uh, pulled their head out of their asses and are figuring it out. So I'm willing to give it a chance and see how things go. I uh, am blown away by their consistent uh, events so far, and I'm blown away by their uh, somewhat consistent uh, uh, communication. They are getting better. And with AR snapshots, oh my god, I'm so excited for AR snapshots. So many people don't have to worry anymore about losing shinies or rares in AR glitches because now we can just catch it go to the collection, and then take it out. So I'm super excited. I'm super excited. I can't wait. We got AR shots coming. You have Mammoth Swine, Swine Up weekend, weekend coming, and then uh, who knows? Maybe Smeargle will be right around the corner. So get excited. Get hyped. But that's all I've got to say about what's going on and what she done bitter did do. Don't ask me what that means because I just randomly said it. I like to make up words. Anyways, that's that. Get excited for this weekend. Get prepared for this weekend. Uh, get prepared for the AR photo snapshots coming and get prepared for what I assume will be Smeargle. But for now, we're gonna close it up here. So please scroll down, give me that like. Maybe consider subscribing if you're not and joining the Fab family. And if you are subscribed, be sure to hit the notification button next to the subscription button so that way you're notified of the next adventure. And we'll see you then, Trainters. Stay fabulous. Bye!